kept it confidential when I was in accounting. I'm trying to have a money problem, lose track of counting. I kept it confidential when I was in accounting. I'm trying to have a money problem, lose track of counting. I kept it confidential. This right here is a mindset. I want to be able to close the most revenue, so that's what I set out to do. I prioritize that number one. How do I do that? I break it down. Output, clean pipeline, confidence and using strong pitch of the tone. Sound convincing, make it sound believable, and also pair that with actual facts that goes against their opinion. That's how I'm able to average 70K a month and average that. Around 65 to 70, I've been doing well this last six months. And um, I feel like anyone can do that. Anyone can achieve that if they set out to do that. But if any, you know, any part of the, the call, you have doubt in your mind, that's going to come off in your tone, what you say, and you'll be at a loss for words. And in doing so, the prospect is just not going to believe you and hang up and not be interested. So you need to sound convincing. As soon as you get them from the open call, you need to sound very believable, enthusiastic, and that's what di dictates really what happens on that call. If you put in all your energy onto this phone call, they're going to simply just listen. You know, if you feel like they're about to say something, you can go ahead and let them speak. But if it sounds like they're going on, you know, speaking about something else, you need to bring them back, control the conversation. That's what I figured out how to do consistently. And look, there's always at least one prospect in your pipeline who's going to say yes. It's up to you to find that person and dig through that pipeline. Kick out stales, stale opportunities have been in your pipeline for more than 14 days, more than three days for me specifically. You know, if, if I feel like they're not reaching back, no response, unresponsive, I'm just gonna keep calling and finding someone who will say yes. But that's how I reach my 65 to 70,000 average in revenue each month. And, um, I'm very confident what I do because of that. You know, history repeats itself. I haven't had any hiccups because I stay neutral level headed and objective with my approach. I don't let anything get me down. If someone says no, that's cool because there's someone on the other side in the pipeline who will say yes. You just gotta keep going until you find it. It can take 100 dials, 140 dials, or it can take 10 dials. It doesn't matter. You never know when it's gonna come, but you gotta keep going. And as soon as you get that deal and you close it and you figure it out how to do that, you need to, you know, stay even in the mind and still go out to get more because you're gonna be satisfied when you close that deal. There's so much, there's so many opportunities out there. So you gotta keep going, keep dialing, and uh, get more revenue. Kept it confidential when I was in accounting. I'm trying to have a money problem, lose track of counting. I kept it confidential when I.